Density altitude, why do we care? This recently came in from our clone that I'm gonna show you here in a minute, but these coincide with a couple of chapters like preparing for the practical test and answering like you're in court. You can get this down below as a free PDF or you can actually order the paperback copy as well, our latest Amazon number one bestseller. So answering like you're going to court for the practical test. Two things examiners are gonna ask you about every single check ride is density altitude and pressure altitude. And I wanna give you two short definitions because you want short, sweet definitions to just pop off to the examiner. But first let's cover the question of why do we care about density altitude? And we're gonna use hogs, askhogs.com. With this cutting edge tool, you have the option to type in your questions or simply click the phone icon and speak your queries directly. Our AI assistant is designed to provide you with instant responses, ensuring that you receive the guidance you need at your convenience. Why do we care about density altitude? Density altitude is crucial because it directly affects aircraft performance. It's essentially the pressure altitude adjusted for non-standard temperature and humidity. When the temperature rises or the air becomes more humid, the density altitude increases, meaning the air is less dense. This can significantly impact your helicopter's performance, making it feel like it's flying at a higher altitude than it actually is. In practical terms, higher density altitude means your helicopter's engine will produce less power, the rotor blades will generate less lift, and the aircraft will require a longer distance to take off. It's like trying to breathe through a straw while running a marathon. The engine runs hotter, less efficiently, and the overall performance drops. That's why, especially in the summer, you might hear density altitude warnings indicating poor performance conditions. Understanding density altitude helps pilots anticipate these changes and adjust their flight plans accordingly, ensuring safety and efficiency. Have you ever experienced a situation where density altitude affected your flight performance? Okay, so now I'm gonna have Lindsay grab the camera here in a second. And we're gonna show you something in the aircraft. So the examiner's gonna ask you, what is density altitude? Density altitude is pressure altitude corrected for non-standard temperature. The examiner's also gonna ask you about pressure altitude. So I'm gonna have Lindsay swing around over here and bring the camera in. Pressure altitude is what you get when you dial 29.92 in your altimeter. Very simple answer. So if we dial that to 29.92, that's pretty darn close, something like that. Then you read your pressure altitude right from the altimeter. So right now, pressure altitude about 840. So density altitude, pressure altitude corrected for non-standard temperature, pressure altitude, it's what you get when you dial 29.92 in the Colesman window on your altimeter and you read pressure altitude right off the altimeter. So a couple of great resources for you. Free, free PDF. This is our Amazon number one bestseller. Askhogs.com. You just saw this in action. If you're new to our videos or you're new to this, we've had 13 years of my content in here. So this is blogs, uh, videos from our paid courses, podcasts, YouTube videos has over 6 million words that I've spoken have been piped into this thing. So it can actually answer better than I can. It obviously speaks better than I can. So free resource, askhogs.com. And the beauty is it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But yes, we know that's annoying at times when you want to talk to a real person. So our customer service is not going away. That's still available at 574-767-1797. You can still talk to a live person at Hogs, but at times she has to sleep. This is available 24 seven. So links down below, come back tomorrow for something else fun and exciting. Peace out. When you feel the pressure to fly, but know the right decision is to stay on the ground, hit the Hogs no-go and live to fly another day. Helicopterground.com.